thing is like a timpani. Mic check, mic check. special intro just for Cinco de Mayo. It's Tony Welcome. and Chelsea Live, Thursday at 5 o'clock. We're not boring at all. That's why this show is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the perfect place to build an online website, portfolio, or blog to showcase your ideas. Squarespace features an elegant interface, beautiful templates, and incredible 24-7 support. If that sounds good to you, and it should. Go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio to get 10% off. Now, here are some things you could do. You could make a portfolio that's clean and simple and beautifully designed. You can put up a store where you can sell your prints. And you could share it on your Facebook and pressure your family members into buying those prints. <laughs> you could also put your, your services up. Maybe you want to do senior portraits. But either way, it's a great place to show off your your photography. Yeah, any type of website, skills. doctor, lawyer, restaurant, whatever you got going. Squarespace is If you're is, a restaurant, is easy. it's perfect for you. You can get a 14-day free trial. Uh, squarespace.com slash Tony. If you decide to sign up, use the coupon code portfolio, which definitely works. And if you already <laughs> have a Squarespace portfolio and you want us to look at it, you can visit sdp.io slash link. And we'll take a look at a couple of portfolios live during the show. We're going to judge them. Just in case you don't understand, we're here to judge stuff. All right. Uh, we're Moving drinking on. margaritas today, but explain some for no particular reason. I'm not sure. Like, we're definitely not wearing sombreros because that's not okay. I think it's fine. Uh, it's a hat. But we are drinking margaritas. <laughs> uh, we, I will introduce you to our two producers. Siobhan out in Philly is screening your comments so you can write something in the comments, ask us a question. And the less gear related it is, the better your odds are of having Siobhan send it to us so we can answer it live during the show. Um, nobody actually tweets, but if you were to decide to tweet with hashtag TC Live, our producer Justin in the studio here could put it up on the screen. Twitter's fun. Old people still do it. What? No, Twitter's for the cool people. Oh. It's like in between. Like yeah, Facebook, I just hate to be the one to break it to you. Facebook is for like the Sounds old like people. You're old. Yeah. Twitter is for like the Gen, Gen Xers, like not the baby Facebook baby boomers. You're not boomers. young. I know. But you're not old. And then Snapchat, maybe that's the new one. Um, I've been trying out Beam because it's finally there for Android. It's like Snapchat, except everything's out of focus. <laughs> it's a stupid thing. Like with Beam, it's it's just like Snapchat okay, where you just like record little. Casey. Everything's out of focus and I can't see the screen because the whole thing is you can't see the screen while you're recording But then I go and I play it back and like my camera didn't focus. I'm like, how am I supposed to know if it's focused if I can't see the screen? Fashion photos. We're looking at your fashion photos today. Go to sdp.io slash submit to send them in. That was his rant. You'll be you'll be prompted for the password put in glam glam all lowercase um, Ignore the other text that's on there. <laughs> that's not correct. I just copied and pasted that it's okay it's been a rough day next week we'll be reviewing your pictures and it will be high contrast what does that mean i don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> high contrast dollars um we'll cover some photo news while people send in their photos siobhan's yeah. screening them and we'll come back and we'll look at your photos in just a second uh Leica announced the value-oriented Leica MD. Like a doctor. Oh, and I think MDs probably will be buying them. <laughs> um, they... <sighs> they have no, no LCD um, display, so it's a stripped-down camera. They just want you to focus on the basics. No pun intended. Uh, so you can't see what you're doing. You can't review your pictures. There's no menu system. You just... Dial in your settings and you take your pictures and you have to be patient and perhaps more thoughtful, maybe more in the moment. Yeah. I think it's the right thing for some people. And yeah, you'll probably be missing some photos. It's $6,000. Yeah, it's six grand. So sell your 2005 Honda Accord and run out. Get the Leica MD. You think that's the market for the Leica MD 2005 Honda drivers? I don't judge people like you do, okay? I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just living. I feel like the Saab... The Saab driver industry 
industry would like like us, don't you think? People who drive subs? I don't know. Do they even make subs anymore? No, they did stop making them. It was a terrible, terrible example. Okay. Um, we got in this week the... Everything's $6,000. Right. Uh, the Canon yeah. 1DX Mark II. Loaned to us from Canon. Thank you, Canon, for loaning that to us. We've been putting it through some tests. I'll give you some early results. Uh, so far, it's it's so similar to the D5. If you watched our D5 review, it's like the same thing, um, just with a Canon mount, basically. So it's mostly a sports camera. This is a comparison of the D5 on the left to the 1DX Mark II on the right at ISO 12,800, just to show the high ISO performance. The D5 is a little bit better. The color's way better. The, you know what? The new Nikon bodies just have better auto white balance. That's what it comes down to. They just are better at that for whatever reason. Um, and the Canon bodies always seem to have like a weird... I don't want to go through all that. I know, right? So the D5 is still the low light champ. Uh, this is a comparison of the 5DSR on the left to the 1D Mark II on the right. And the 5DSR is Canon's cheaper full frame body, but it's 50 megapixels. The front one, 1D Mark II. D Mark II is 20, 50 megapixels, like, get you something, like, just way more detail. And overall, um, the 5DSR just has vastly better image quality in every way than the 1DX Mark II. So if you're not shooting, um, we did, however, put it through a sports focusing test. You already saw this if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And the 1DX Mark II uh, completely won it. It beat the D5. It beat the 7D Mark II. It beat the D500. It's really, really awesome at tracking focus in low light. So that's the one thing it does. The last picture, this detail was, that's kind of in low light. How did it perform in better lighting? Uh, that's at ISO 100. Whoa, really? Yeah, so that part of the frame might be a little bit dark. But, um, yeah, if, if there's noise, it's just because it's in the shadows. Okay. It's also, like, super zoomed in. It looks very Just handy. to kind of show the difference. That's it. The 1DX Mark II. That's pretty good. Uh, we also got in the Phantom 4 because we're going to start doing some... We're, we're preparing for an awesome trip out to like Yosemite and some beautiful places in California. We can't actually fly to national parks. We can get around there. And so we're, we're going to be grabbing some video and we picked up the Phantom 4. So you can look forward to a review of that and probably some actual tips on how to use them and stuff. I think it's an important segment for photographers and videographers. It's like a camera that you can put anywhere. You can Except put it way national up in the sky. parks. Well, true. And or Washington, Washington D.C. DC. Or <laughs> within two miles of an airport. A bunch of things. Um, let's see if anybody has sent in pictures. Do you think they have? Mm, probably. We're looking at fashion photos this week. You can go to scp.io slash submit and use the password glam. Uh, glam. Oh, there we are. <laughs> so fashion photos. How do you define that, Chelsea? I don't know. How do you define it? <laughs> I would say fashion photos are where it's not portraiture. With fashion photos, the clothing is the most important part of the picture. It's it's the strange or because sometimes jewelry or watch or whatever. I guess why I asked is because I've seen a lot of high fashion photographers and they do a lot of like shoulder up work, which you wouldn't think they do. Do kind of like headshots. Mm. I guess that's not really fashion. But. Yeah, it depends. You know, there there could be a necklace or jewelry, or sometimes they'll they'll do a headshot with like a watch up near the head. Yeah. Here's our first shot, a very cute picture. Um, I I'm just thinking about the crop. I feel like I want to crop it in a little bit tighter. It looks really Dang, good overall. She's good at posing. Yeah, she is good at posing. Uh, I actually think it's a great example. Do you have any feedback, Chelsea? Is the focus on her eyes? Yeah, yeah, it, it did seem. Sharp. Yeah, when you zoomed in, it looked really sharp. I just want to see. I think it be, it's because her dress has so much contrast that it seemed like the focus was here. Yeah, she has a sweet little soft face. She's so cute. But yeah, that's a really good picture. She's good at posing, and it definitely highlights the dress. I will say, if you were publishing this picture, you'd go in and clean up these flyaways some, mm -hmm. and that's a pain. But you're on a white backdrop, so you can actually just kind of. Mm -hmm. Uh, sample a nearby color with your paintbrush and then just brush it in and just kind of erase it with a nice kind of medium soft edge. And 
this is an awesome outfit. Um, it, it must be, what would you call this? Like, is that a tunic? Sure. <laughs> so that must be what it's highlighting. And they showed enough of the kind of environment to give you some, some context to it. The colors are really nice. I like this picture a lot, but I think there are so many other elements to the picture that overpower this simple black tunic. Yeah. Um, but it's still great. Really good model. I like it. This is NYX. I recognize this from, I think, Twitter. Yeah. Um, this is impractical fashion, <laughs> but still cool. Uh, I feel like, do you feel like you want to see a little more whites in there? Um, definitely a cool shot. Fashion comes up in a lot of different ways. Like, of course, you have, you know, uh, like Cosmo magazine and various ads for watches. And I think that's what you kind of think of. But if you go into H&M, they'll have huge posters on the walls. Highlights is just kind of like lifestyle fashion. I think this dress is made entirely of industrial garbage bag material. And that's cool. This is a good fashion shot. I think so too. I think it's, I'm going to give it a pick. And the key here is the kind of hard lighting because they're working with a really dark fabric that could just completely disappear. So you need that kind of hard light that's going to reflect off of it. Uh, the downside to this is with this fabric, it's, it's not exactly smooth. So the hard lighting is accentuating like every single the crinkliness. Yeah. But yeah. that, that is actually the fabric of it up here. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's something a little bit unsharp about it really so her, her eye isn't in focus the focus of the picture is yeah it, it's not bad i actually see lots of big prints of fashion photos where it's like a little bit unsharp where mm. just technically they didn't nail it i like, mean all the time, i right? follow some of the biggest fashion photographers in the world and they're not nailing focus 100 percent of the time i know and what it goes to show you that one it's hard and two it's not that important no yeah nice shot um yeah bring up the whites let's get some contrast yeah there's Guys. no reason to kind of ditch it's that contrast it just contrast. makes it look washed out yeah well i like that a lot I, yeah i think it's I'm a gonna give that picture. pick yeah nicely done the composition's great i know i know you want to peek in the shadows right i i'm, I'm kind of wondering see okay it's like a jacket i was kind of wondering what it was that was being like what piece of clothing was being illustrated here because all i could see was this sort of fur fabric and the the flowers. I think this. So is, I thought it was a, just a cool portrait. Yeah. As far as being fashion, I didn't know what was being highlighted, but <laughs> this guy is fashionable. <laughs> wow. Street fashion. Street fashion. That's a thing, actually. Um, who's that uh, New York City photographer who does the like street? Bill fashion? Cunningham. Yeah, Bill Cunningham. That's an awesome shot. Do you think Bill Cunningham and, would like him? That's the kind of thing where I'll see it in the street and I'll be like, I wish I'd been fast enough to get a picture. <laughs> so congrats on actually being fast enough to get a picture because it doesn't fit the genre, but technically actually really challenging to get. It kind of fits the genre. That is some serious street fashion. Is uh, this a real red bat background? I, I, you know what? There's like nice flyaways in front of it. There was something abrupt about it, but uh, it's got shadow on it. Maybe they changed the color of it or they upped it or something. I will say the red is a little distracting, so it just depends how you use it. You know, maybe it fits into the theme or something. I think it's a little overpowering. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think it distracts from everything else. But the shot overall, the pose is fantastic. Uh, she's done a good job with her pan yeah. hands and the expression. Uh, the makeup looks good. The hair in front of the face, uh, just her overall attitude. I give it a pick. I think it's a great shot. Yeah, I think it's a great shot, too. Nicely done. But the red is so abrupt that it almost looks like it was just cut out and put into the shot. But I don't I, think it actually was. No, but it, it gives that impression right away. And mm -hmm. sometimes it can be completely natural and it still looks unnatural. You just have to kind of manage that. Uh, so this is kind of a classic style. You have the white background and you have the model shadow on the background. That's been in style for a while now. I would just up the contrast. Yeah, I agree with that. To speak to the shadow thing, the... Standing near the wall and having the outline on the, the the outline of the shadow on the wall behind you, it it speaks to using a camera with an on camera flash, and that in our minds means like 
even though this is clearly not a cannon shot, even though it's carefully posed, that kind of uh, lends itself to feeling more like somebody's Instagram. It almost makes it more like real and believable, even though it isn't necessarily real and believable at all. It is a style and it's a style that I kind of like and that I see often, especially in fashion. So good work doing that. I might even bring the shadow out just a little more because it's faint. So just a little more contrast. Next week's show. Yeah. Um, I, I find the, the background and everything really interesting. Some of it must be just added in post, right? I know I'm analyzing it kind of deeply. I don't the, know. It, it's, it's very like direct eye contact. Yeah. Which is classic portraiture. Uh, not in so much classic fashion. Um, but I think... It's an overall good shot. I like the lighting. Shows off her cheekbones. Uh, the only reason why this feels a little more like a portrait to me than fashion is because um, commercial fashion is usually more smiley like this, but less artistic, right? Right. And then high fashion is usually not smiley and something a little more abstract and eye-catching. Uh, a little more avant-garde, you think, with high fashion. So this falls in some space like between commercial fashion and uh, portraiture headshot, something like that. Yeah. Or just a creative headshot. But it's nice. They nailed the focus, too. Oh. Ah, somebody had a different take on things. Yeah, and this is also kind of using that hard flash look to make it look very casual. Uh, and I'm going to give this one a pick because it just feels good. There's something about the balance of it. Uh, I even like that it's kind of cropped really close to the subjects because uh, it feels deliberate to me. Cool. Cool. Wow. Um, this is high corgi fashion. Many of you might not know, but this is what most fashion take notes. Um, you can see the great eye contact. They brought out the color of the eyes a little bit, which is very important. Um, and the corgi's eyes aren't perfectly in focus, but I just think that that shows her energy and her spirit. Mm -hmm. And I think it, it speaks to the dress very well. Were you thinking the same thing? Exactly that. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Best in Show? Yeah, yes. that's a fantastic movie. It's yeah, funny. it's good. Justin's plugging Best in Show, which is an old movie and a quirky comedy, but really good. A crazy good time for the whole family. Ooh, I like this. This is like L.L. Bean style, right? It has the airy, New England, innocent girl feel. Yeah, it absolutely does. And I'm, I'm giving it a pick. The location is fantastic. Her pose is just really nice. And she has just a really good expression. The, the wind in her hair is just perfect. It, it really does pass for an L.L. Bean photo. I wish there was a little more room to crop. I don't know if you crop this in post or not, but it's really close to her feet. And especially if you're doing like actual fashion work, you don't really know what the shape of the final print is going to be. They might decide to fit it into a wall space. It needs to be square or horizontal or whatever. So it's always good to leave some room to crop there just so the producer, the editor, whatever can. There are things I want to Photoshop on this picture, but I don't have the option to mm. do that. What did you want to do? Um, I would just add a little more mood to the photo just because the lighting is good, but not entirely as whimsical as her pose and her beautiful red hair. I think that you could just add maybe some lighting elements or something. Mm. Um, I just... I want to bring this in a little bit, right? I like the trees in the background. Yeah, and I like that the background is blown out. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't blow it out, and that's kind of a mistake. But I'd like to see her face, like, properly exposed. Oh, you think it's still too dark, huh? Oh, yeah, I think her face should be there. Yeah, it actually looks like maybe it was raised in post because her face is so noisy. And it's definitely something to avoid. I don't, I don't know why there's so much noise in her face. Um, you shot at ISO 200. You definitely should have been at ISO 100. 
with a slower shutter speed yeah. would have been fine. 170, one eight hundredth of a second. So the shutter speed. Yeah, yeah, you could have slowed that down and gotten away with it just fine. Um, but the hair and the pose and everything is yeah. is really nice. I think. What do you think about the two thumbs through the the belt loops? That's kind of like an old move. You got to give Miles something to do with their hands, but it feels like like one thumb through the belt loop is the most you can do in a photo. Can you go two thumbs through the belt loop? Sure. <laughs> sure. Sometimes You're, you have to you push the okay? limits. That's fashion. Okay. <laughs> This is fashion. This is actually what Siobhan wears when she comes to visit us. I'm like, you, know, you don't have to be that fancy, you know, but she insists. I like it a lot. This is some Downton Abbey stuff. She's like, oh, Lord, is that what he said? She's like, oh, bless your heart. His manners were terrible. <laughs> I think you should do that for the rest of the show. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love this picture a lot. It tells such a story. I imagine he's in a band and he has abnormally high self esteem and she's <laughs> falling for it. Like, she's like, he really is great. Like, he says he's great, but he really is great, mom. Why do I like him? He's smart. And, but he's not that into her and she's just way too good for him. But she doesn't know it yet, but she'll grow up. She's going to find out. Sorry. In fairness, you've been watching Flight of the Concords for like the 12th time. <laughs> that okay. could be it, too. Okay, nice truth, truth bomb. Wait, I want to actually give them feedback. Okay. I like the glasses and the pose and the lighting, and they have these unique outfits on. I, I love this picture. I'm going to give it a pick. Yeah, I like it, too. But tell her she can do better. <laughs> She's just kidding. Stuff the hard way. I'm just kidding. Mm, this is a cool picture. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't... I, I There's something I'm still processing about this picture. I will say I want to brighten this corner of it. Mm. Um, let me just... And in fact, I want all this kind of white to be a little bit brighter. And just, just to bring out that shadow near her feet, because I, I really like that shadow. And I'm not going to be able to do this precisely quickly, but. Wow, wow. Maybe you will, though. Yeah, I'm that good. Kind of wrote a book on this stuff. You wrote a book? Okay, so that's a really quick job. But you can see where I'm going with this, just kind of um, accentuating that shadow a little bit, because I think that's a key part of the story. I'm going to help you out here. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit just to blend it. And then what I'm going to do is go black and white. Because the colors aren't working for me. Mm. Yeah, to me, if it's fashion, it's going in a catalog or something, obviously it would need to match whatever the format of it is. Fashion is often in black and white. Okay. Look it up. Uh, and I want to, I think this is like a zipper or something. I would just want to like clone that out. You, you're just going to have to spend a little bit of time just zooming into one to one and, you know, fixing various unnatural wrinkles like that little thread there, that kind of thing. Little stuff. I Good like picture. it though. I it just feels so unbalanced to me. Don't I think the lighting on her is beautiful, the the outfit is beautiful, but I feel like she's gonna tip over, right? Don't you, you just want Siobhan's doing it now. Oh, Siobhan, be careful. You guys <laughs> oh, are scaring me. Typical woman. <laughs> um because her body is all in one line. Now if, if her head were just tilted camera left a little bit, that might help it out. It's just something about the pose. I, the lighting's really nice. I wish that she had just turned her head a little more to catch the light in her eyes because you get these shark eyes when you don't do that. Yeah, the light completely missed her left Especially eye. if your model has dark eyes, which Tony does, so I can relate to you. He gets the shark eye look, and sometimes I'll just go in and bring them out a bit. Oh, she has blue eyes, too. Oh. How did she do it? But I like the the tones in this picture, the colors. There's blues and orange, these contrasting colors kind of blending together. It's nice. Yeah, we have a video in chapter three of stunning digital photography that speaks to this, but you just gotta like stunning manage digital that. photography? <laughs> have you heard of what it? What is book. that? <laughs> you gotta manage the height of the main light there and make sure that it it kind of catches both eyes and just dropping that main light just a little bit. It could even be some number of inches. 
or or having the model tilt her head a little bit would get it in there. I still like that picture a lot. What? She looks just like my cousin. Um. Yeah, this is a great shot. Uh, I'm just kind of pondering the feedback on it. The light on her is fantastic, especially for being in an outdoor environment. It looks like she has a, a strobe on her. Um, but the the light looks really soft. I love the like shadow the under her chin. The outfit, the lonely um, tree. I, I want to do something different with the hand posing because her hand just looks a little bit uncomfortable, even though I'm sure it is comfortable. If she oh, I liked the hand. Oh, really? Okay. Guess that's where we different disagree. Different strokes. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Loving that hat. This actually feels like too much of that flash. A hard look, flash. Right? I do know that's a look, but it, it kind of like lost all the color in her face. Hmm. I like the hat and I like her expression. Maybe just a bit too much flash, but it's still a cool picture. Yeah. Actually, also, that's kind of like subjective. Maybe you like a lot of flash. Who am I to tell you? Yeah, and it totally depends. It's hard to look at a fashion photo without seeing the context for it, without mm -hmm. knowing how it's going to be used, without seeing other pictures in the set. But we dive in one picture at a time. Uh, so this is a common theme. You pick kind of a gritty background like this. So it's got like a little bit of rust there, a little bit of texture. I think that works. She's being just super casual. She's she's so casual, she can't be bothered to like put her arms through her jacket. She's like, I'm just... How do you even get that over your shoulders? Is that possible? I've done it. There have been days when sleeves are just too much for me. Yeah. Okay. I like this shot a lot. Yeah. I like the shot too. Yeah. I wanted Good to shot. just I... brighten it up a bit. I can't think of anything to suggest. Yeah, it looks great. This one is, oh, wow, that's a dress. So this is a really interesting element, this part on the bottom. So I would bring that out just a bit. You can see it's like a, a fishtail look. That's not right. Yeah, you're right. Um, we are losing some really interesting uh -huh. detail there. I actually regret this. I don't want that anymore. <laughs> um, I would go in with a brush. Well, first off, I think it's a fantastic photo. It's it's very professional. The outfit is interesting, and uh, I feel like you have gelled yellow and blue lights, or maybe just one set of gels. Yeah, um, orange But the and combination blue. of colors makes it really interesting. The heavy backlighting is really interesting, yeah, and the, the model herself is... has just a great expression. She's clearly an experienced model. Um, I th I think the tattoo really kind of sets it off and makes it interesting. But the expression in her eyes is something that can be really hard to get out of a beginning model. And that's what really makes the photo here. Yeah, it's really nice. Nicely done. I'll give that one a pick, obviously. Pick. It's a great picture. I don't know what this is. It's a, it's, um, a button. <laughs> okay. So that's fashion. I like it. The little details of fashion. This lady again. We get it, lady. Looks like I have to do a re-import. You wanna toss it over to Siobhan for some questions? Well, I will. I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it over to Siobhan. I'm gonna ask her if she has any questions. Siobhan. <laughs> We're trying to give Siobhan some warning. I do have questions. Just Excellent. a few. Um this one is relevant to today's topic. When photographing people, do you do framing poses? like to showcase hair or a necklace or just natural poses like the body would normally stand, sit, etc. It depends on the model. Um, and it also depends on what the subject of the photography is. So if you're taking a picture of a watch or jewelry or a specific piece of clothing, then you'd want to highlight what was interesting about that. Um, or if your model has an especially stunning feature, like a neck, you might want them to pose to elongate their neck, since that would be very interesting. So it really depends on the situation for me. Um, I try to highlight a model's features that I find interesting, uh, or some element of their outfit, or something that tells the story that I want to tell. So it always varies for me. How about you, Tony? Didn't really hear the question. <laughs> Uh, let's look at Vladimir's portfolio. Wait, she has more questions. Okay, go for it, Siobhan. Come on, come on. 
Come on, Tony. This is a live show. When would you use exposure compensation versus changing the shutter speed manually? I use exposure compensation when a subject is backlit because I want to expose for the subject and not the overall scene. So a lot of the time your camera will see a lot of light and they'll underexpose your subject's face. And I like to dial up exposure compensation and get their face and shutter I, speed. I can't really think of a time where I would change the shutter speed. Well, yeah. I guess there are a few situations. The only time you change the shutter speed manually is if you're in manual mode with manual ISO. Yeah. If you're in any other situation, aperture priority, shutter priority, or using auto ISO, then you're going to use exposure compensation to adjust the brightness of the picture. Yeah. Um, but most of the time, if I am in manual mode and I'm manually setting the shutter speed and aperture to whatever the value, the lowest values are that I need, and then I'm using the ISO up or down to adjust the brightness of the picture. So I wouldn't necessarily be adjusting the shutter speed. What else, Siobhan? Uh, um, question for Tony. Okay. Where did you get your shirt? You look fresh. Thanks. You just look fresh. Uh, Chelsea, where did I get the shirt? Any idea? No. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I mean, not, it's like, pretty generic. Know, like it's stores like and stuff. Checkered blue and white shirt. So. Yeah. Sorry, I can't help you out. Let's look at Vlad Moore's por portfolio. It's hosted on Squarespace. Where's Our... more margarita? Uh, somebody uh, call the bartender. No, uh, I thought that was you. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Vladimir. Uh, this is his opening page, and it's it's almost cryptic. He's got this is like eyeball. That... What was that Hack hacking movie from the eighties where you had to like click the pie symbol? I love Nobody? pie. <laughs> I love clearly, pie I'm the oldest person kind. here. Uh, anyway, it makes me think of that. <laughs> I'll click hashtag C and we'll go into his main page. I like the mysterious page. I can see um, this might be a typo. You want to fix that? You don't know his life. His words are abstract. But we have a, a series of different categories here. We'll start on people because that's his default. This feels like street photography. Oh, it's him. My goodness, we just looked at your picture. Good thing we said nice things, right? I know. What? No, that picture changes my entire story. He came around. He saw. The yeah, she's probably heard your whole description, and she dumped him, and it's just too late now. <laughs> Over. Things have been said that can't be taken back, Chelsea. I know, and it's rude of me because I hate when people try to guess my mood based on the video, and then I yeah, do it to just other try people. To delete and those I guess comments I'm not a good person. I get pissed. <laughs> What's this tiny accordion? It's beautiful. Oh, that's a fantastic picture. I like that. That guy's cool. All right, those are all good pictures. None of those needed to be removed. Those are all good. This is gorgeous. That's like, just, it's just in beautiful. New York. It's our we should go hang out with them. Okay. You want to hang out with Vladimir? Yeah. Wow. Infrared. I, yeah, I like infrared with a long exposure. I like that a lot. That's really compelling. Dumbo Park. Yes. Yes. Beautiful Let's, shots in New York. Let's try rural. Rural, rural dark. <laughs> a little 30 rock reference out there. Wow, he lives in extremes. Oh, wait, go back. Which one did you like? Two, go back three. What is that one? Yeah, he's so sweet. So cute. That one's sweet too. Those are great. Everything you do is great. I bet you're a good cook too. <laughs> what is that? Um. That's fine. I was baffled because there's only the one abstract picture and everything else had multiple pictures. Just like a user element, a user interface element that you might think about. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's just my mood. I didn't mind the multiple categories today. <laughs> you could definitely Everyone was good. combine those into one category, but at the same time, it was all pretty good work, though the They're abstract also different. I think bit. he needs the different categories. I agree with my new friend. Yeah. He's a New York City based photographer who speaks the language of art and hopefully other languages too. Um, but I just, oh, Vladimir, okay. I guess we'll just be on a first name basis. Thanks for sending Follow your. Him. Okay, there you go. I bet you have to sign in. Oh, okay. no. Wow. Thanks for sending your portfolio in, Vladimir. We liked it a lot. I don't know that we had a lot of feedback for you. 
It could just be that it's Cinco de Mayo and we're just overall feeling not that critical today. <laughs> but overall, your work seems to be really good. Chelsea is super into your Instagram right now. It could be, we could be spending another 20, 30 minutes on your Instagram while she comments and stuff. <laughs> don't don't forget the emoticons uh, emojis sorry that was a really old person thing to say <laughs> Vladimir says about Squarespace I learned about Squarespace through Tony and Chelsea's YouTube yeah, you channel did. thank you I was very impressed when I signed up for the free trial and from day one I knew that it would be worth upgrading to the yearly subscription the coupon provided by Tony made my decision even easier and now I can surely say I will be their loyal customer for a long time. That sounds like we wrote it or something, but we didn't. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't screen that comment ahead of time. It, it came really in, is good. It's look at the timestamp here. Easy. It came in like right before the show. Thank you, Vladimir, for for submitting your portfolio. It's a brave thing to do. If you are interested in your own Squarespace portfolio, go to squarespace.com slash Tony. Get a 14-day free trial, no credit card required. Make your pictures look awesome. And then if you want to keep it, set up a store. Use the coupon code portfolio. Store. <laughs> Stores are great. Uh, should we do chit chat? Sure. You're usually so enthusiastic about chit chat. Everyone knows I hate chit chat. Just kidding. Chit chat is great. Let's go. Lovely episode. You guys really produce photography related content matched by no others. I felt like <sighs> so I just wanted to start with like a compliment to me. Oh, no. I feel like that's a slap in the face of all the others, right? Take that, others. Others. <laughs> no. Everyone else is good, too, but it's not my fault we're the best. Tony, I think that girl is into you. Well. <laughs> that's cute. I hope so. <laughs> oh, I put this up to tell you I'm into you. Oh, my God. I just wanted to let you know. I'm swooning. Swoon. <laughs> he looks like Nathan <laughs> from Nathan for you. <laughs> LOL. Because they laugh because they know that's not the, like, the best. But it's not bad. It's not bad. He's Nathan. a good, he's a sharp dresser. I guess they were. He's divided. also an evil person. We're, we're a divided house on Nathan for you. I, I love it in like a cringy way. Like I spend the whole time being like, oh, but I still love it and I want to watch more. And Chelsea, it's too cringy for her. I can't. She cannot handle. It took me a while to get Nathan used to you. curb your enthusiasm, but now I love Larry David and I love that show. But any situation where I feel like someone's feelings can be hurt, I, yeah, it like, totally into hurting it like rips me up inside to think that someone is falling for his weird pranks and also might be hurting. I'm like, I would save them. I would tell them. Nathan for you is like, it's like a reality. He's like pretending to, it's like a satire of reality shows. Yeah. But the people involved don't know they just think it's a regular reality show and not a satire of reality show so he does things like trying to overhaul somebody's business and make it better but then he like i think at some point he he took an, an ice cream shop under his wing and convinced them to have a shit flavored ice cream he did poo flavored <laughs> so there's ice things cream. like that but then the owner's always so like they really don't want to do it but they can't say no like they're like oh yeah oop. The, okay. the joke is that so when you put much. somebody on camera, they're willing to do almost anything, even when it's really oh. dumb. So he's kind of playing on that. It ex exploits people that aren't. That, yeah, they just that. don't stand up for themselves. I can't handle or, when anyone is exploited. Really I can't watch American Idol because they always did this thing where they would have like a handicapped person <laughs> thinking they were good at singing. And then that was like the joke. So I was like, oh, I can't watch. I'm never going to watch. Yeah, you're the one that made me realize that they were just mocking handicapped people on American Idol. Once you told me that I could never watch another episode. Like socially Before that, I just thought it was hilarious people. that that person had so much confidence and was a poor singer. And then you're no. like, mm, no, no, they They're have, like, they have an emotional condition. <laughs> like, it's oh, God. not right. I'm a bad person. I'm not going to participate in that. <laughs> Only I can make fun of those people. <laughs> just kidding. This is... <laughs> A great shot. I just wish I had a little more space above her eyes, right? I think it's always better to leave you a don't know bit what's of room up to there. crop. To be <laughs> honest, I've seen some ladies' eyebrows. You don't know what's up there. Just, but like, I shouldn't laugh at that. She could have some kind of eyebrow condition. She preferred that over like going to the mall to the threading station. I never done that. All right, that was a cool picture. She is popping her collar, uh, but somehow it feels She's very a candid boss, to me. Bitch. It's very low contrast. Oh. Uh, I would be her friend because she doesn't give a shit about me. <laughs> That's what you're into. <laughs> That's what you look like a friend. 
<laughs> yeah, I get a lot of false positive reinforcement in my life, and I need her. <laughs> um, I would up the con. I would up the exposure because, like, I, the background is brighter than her. Yeah, you know what it is? is the it doesn't it doesn't feel that deliberate. It feels very candid. There's, there's like, like no her. control over the lighting. Uh, what do we do? What are we going to do? Look, I think... What? Well, it, it needs... 160 F... Oh, F11. What it needed was like an F28, and then you'd have her in focus and not this bright background. Yeah, but and maybe right lowering now, down a little bit. You is, have a lot of that sidewalk in there. I can see these are roses past their prime. That's a little too much background ground information yeah that would also get you down to iso 100 get you some cleaner images but i gotta anyway, say just keep at it just keep taking pictures of her because she's got it going on yeah you guys will kind of grow together ginger is ginger. her name not like a slur <laughs> <laughs> i i like the contrast in colors the purple with the green um but there's something off and i can't quite put my finger on what it is um maybe the lighting in the foreground is just too flat maybe because you're losing any kind of detail sorry to zoom in on you lady but it, it, yeah it's one of those things where it's real close um smooth the necklace a little Wait, bit it can be what is this it's a good shot i i'm just trying to find that little bit of feedback because sometimes i don't it is but i look at a picture i'm like oh yeah you're you're just like almost, almost there. Almost there. Um, they're using flash either on camera or just off camera left. And I think it's a little too bright and it just kind of washed the subject out because, you know, there's no, there's no definition. You're, you're already starting this. You're, you're dodging in highlights on her face because her face is just too flat. Everything's her body flat. is just too flat. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of and thinking. And it's because that it's, it is. The, the light is just too on axis. Because if the light were higher, yeah. So you'd want to add. That's what it is. She's just washed you out. You want a there bit. to be highlights where you want to see something is projecting. So cheekbones, bridge of the nose, top of the forehead here, chin, uh, the breasts usually here. I'll, I'll uh, dodge that. And then we'll get a new brush here. You also want to dodge and add some shadows. And then you can add some dimension. Now, you want to mostly do this with the light with the lighting and camera but yeah then you can go in and dodge as well and add some shadows in let's you don't want to do it too much it starts to look really fake yeah but that just adds a bit of dimension and so hair around the ears is like a full-time job for the assistant <laughs> you know what i mean just the managing of the hair like see, here we have some kind of hair that's really going over her ear so how you might be asking how you get more dimension with the lighting um it looks like everything's on axis which is good if you don't want features to project but if you want to add um if you want to bring out abs and breasts and things like that do some side lighting on the body and then if you want to soften the face do different lighting on the face or you could have her turn into the light but that's how you would manage that the environment and the posing is very good like yeah her, her hand posing oh, looks it's great. not a bad picture or anything no it's, it's just, a good that's picture the way to... yeah it's one of those things where um we just want to provide some useful feedback to you. I just lost my earpiece in my ear. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> we're going to have to like call an ambulance here. We got to get Mom? some lights in there and brighten Mom, this up help. a little bit. I have a medical emergency, Antonio and Chelsea live. <laughs> um, it's a really feminine and delicate problem to have. The, the background here is almost all just like concrete. Mm -hmm. So the, the location could be a little bit nicer, or you could add some more depth to it by getting a little lower. On the other hand, maybe that... I think the grass is in focus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could be. Or even Perhaps. a shallower depth of field. You're at F16 for some reason. Uh, mm -hmm. You're at F16 because you want a slow shutter speed because you want to show that motion. Yeah. Um, I do love the motion, so I see what you were going for there. Yeah. This would actually be a good time to use a neutral density filter. But Tony, don't you hate all filters all of the time? <laughs> no, I there just, are specific I'm a times. Good for that. Um, mm -hmm. This picture also a little underexposed. This person's the best. Brighten that up. 
Yeah, I love her outfit. It feels almost like street Heck. photography. The woman Taking behind her. Where are these great people? Yeah, where do people dress like that? My dreams. Um, but kudos to her. Watch the crop on the feet, a little close to the feet. Again, I wish it's F11. I wish that the depth of field was a little more shallow because this lady is completely in focus. Unless that's what she wanted. But this gives some context, but it's also a bit distracting. Yeah. But I like it. I like her pose. Taken with a Leica. Oh. To add to the retro feel. Leica. Um, <laughs> this is a great example of street photography, I think, and it clearly includes a fashion model. Um, but I wouldn't say that it, it highlights fashion in any particular way, um, but it's a could, cool shot. Could, the, it's got to be the same guy, the no right? Arms Surely we sleeve. don't have two people with type 240. Actually, hoodies like are M's. really in right now. Just read it on the New York Times. Thank God, because I have and like 40 And I'm going to call this one on my own. Not putting your arms in your sleeve. Best way to be the most fashionable person in Oh, room. man. I, I'm doing that right now. I'm pulling my arms <laughs> right through these sleeves and letting them hang off. Me too. <laughs> Let me try. Uh, I'm giving this one a pick right away. It's just right away. It's a striking picture. Yeah. Uh, white hair is awesome. It's super cool. Yeah, I feel Young like you old. I mean... It is cool, but I do feel like maybe you're biased. I don't know what you mean. Uh, let's clone out that leaf. If you missed it, it's a minor point. But maybe the leaf is what it's all about. I think it's a great shot. I love the boots. Great pose. Great kind of expression on the model. Yeah. Great job. Did I give that one? I'm giving them another pick. Give you two picks. <gasps> Her outfit is slamming. On point. Except, you know, her her arms all inside her sleeves. Yeah, if she so could like... take her arms out of her sleeves, I think this would bring this to the next level. Very cute. Good color in there. Wow. She's got some intensity. Um, Five stars just because this girl is my spirit animal. This, So many girls this age are just like natural models. Like they, they, they just... Shit automatically pose right away mm -hmm. like they just immediately go for high fashion as soon as you break out the camera Boom. little boys are different they go for like oh i'm gonna flick a booger at the camera little girls like what? just want to look awesome <laughs> love that i love adventurous babies they're always trying to touch things and then eat them <laughs> go baby but that's not fashion i no, guess it's, it's baby cute, fashion though. baby fashion <laughs> this is more like telling a story than fashion yeah they're i feel really like sweet. it's a, a prom picture but i think we can and give some useful feedback here. It's a little underexposed. Uh, you want to make sure the skin isn't blown out, um, but they both have fair complexion. So let's get that skin up into like the right quarter of the histogram. Yeah, but my daughter's very fair and it can be difficult to balance the light on people with very fair skin like that. Um, I'd say the quality of the light is the thing taking away from this picture because you can see when you have this overhead light, you get hard highlights at the top of the forehead and then the eyes are in shadow which is typically something that you would like to bring out yeah and like then the eyes. nose is in highlight which makes the nose stick out more and then the mouth is in shadow and that's something that you would like to bring out so you want to either put them completely in the shade so that their face is evenly lit or put them in lighting that's flattering but i i still think it tells a great story yeah check chapters three and six of stunning digital photography i also like to have people turn their head tilt their head Heads in a little bit towards each other when they're like that. I don't like that, but I know you like that. <laughs> I'll marry no matter what. Okay, that's why there's two of us. We can <laughs> have different opinions. She's super cute. The light is Boop. is pretty good. Yeah, she's cool. And actually, I know that... Maybe a little less fun. This baby is fashion, so... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Pick right away. I did. I've it's never so seen deliberate. This, so good. This could totally go into uh, a, like, a catalog. Oh, God. Like this is genuinely, beautiful. I know it's it's a fantastic picture. Nicely done. This dog. Perfect. Just can we have? No, I already knew what you're gonna ask. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Might as well crop it in around him a little bit. Uh, you need to wear that. And I would not mess with that guy. I feel like he, he would beat the tar out of you really quickly. Weapon. This is an excellent picture. Yeah, it is. And it highlights fashion in a great way. I actually feel like this is a picture that people will look back at and say, 
this is a hipster. I mean, <laughs> like just historically. Yeah, like you know how you look back at flappers and you just want to see them in that way, and you're like, oh my god, they're like doing the June bug or whatever, and they're so cute. Like this guy, people will be like, yeah, this is exactly what the hipster is. He's got his his scotch and his plaid shirt and his chapeau and his glasses. But Chels, hipsters don't self-identify. Actually, I listened to the Judge John Hodgman show on today, the great description of a hipster. And it's somebody that enjoys culture and different things, but then wants to discriminate against other people. But I don't want to judge this guy, but he was saying like a nerd will enjoy something like they'll be like, oh, this movie's great. But they want to share the love. And a hipster is more like this movie's great. And I saw it first. And maybe you're not at the forefront of the fad. There's like an extra edge to hipsterism. I'm not saying this guy is that, but he is a judge. So you pretty much have to trust him. I do. He's an Internet judge. And that's how I know that his thoughts and opinions are real. Okay, we have to this leave back ASAP. Again. So let's rip through some of these last ones. Okay, Fantastic. we saw her already. Her face is great. This is the camera face lady. Yeah. Um, this is actually five stars, and holy shit, how did so you do So patriotic. This? <laughs> uh, I think we saw her too, but beautiful shot and great job capturing the snow. Um, that's fantastic. Great Very big Thelma light source. Uh, great expression out of her. I I just think that's a great picture. Congrats. Also a beautiful picture. I love the, the particles in the air really make a difference there. I'm too scared. That is a cool shot. That's a great shot. And then it's taken with an iPhone. Five. Nicely done. Wow. Great, Some people, great job on the take processing. an iPhone and they... Yeah, pick for you. Ooh, this is great. Yeah, this yeah, this is totally pro. Pick. Um, though her gaze is almost too close to the camera like i wish she were either looking at the camera or looking into the works. distance it feels like she's looking at a different photographer to me this guy made mistakes pick <laughs> wow great shot wow, this is like taylor swift her hip out a little bit which has some shape there i wish i knew what was in her left hand it, oh she's hanging on to something nice done um this feels less deliberate it just feels kind of candid yeah but her outfit is cool uh, yeah. Watch the crop on the hand. I was thinking that either right crop the between the joints or past the fingers. But good style. <gasps> this is this is the Invisible creepy. Dad? <laughs> Remember Invisible? Ghost he's, Dad. Ghost Dad. He's the Invisible uh, Ghost cruise Dad. Ship. I, sorry, I gave away your secrets. I had to know. Ghost Dad? Goodbye, uh, feet. Again, kind of watch the crop there. Yeah, but Always I love, check the edges of the frame before I love you snap. the colors. This, this white again. It's blue, and I would just crop it down. Yeah, and he has a great natural expression, too. Oh, We're there he is again, just looking fast. great. You know? Chris Advil. That's a fantastic picture. I love, I love the Advil. texture, okay. uh, the processing on it. And we were just talking about this because we watched a terrible 80s or 90s movie, even, and everybody Wishmaster? was smoking. Yeah, Wishmaster, which is on <laughs> it's on HBO now, I think, for free. And it's everybody really smoked. Bad. And we were like, yeah, because smoking is awesome for photos and videos. It's mm -hmm. terrible for your health. But that plume of smoke is so photogenic. Good. But smoking's bad. Don't do it. Yeah. Good picture. This is good. We That's good. we got to hustle like now. So we don't let's have too many that. left. So let's get through it. That looks great. Um, <laughs> Lovely. Wow. Beautiful. That looks like me in the morning. Is that like a dried rat? Great expression from the model. Yeah. Great model. Watch the crop on the fingers, though. Again, just crop a little Siobhan wider. Siobhan and I do this on the weekends. <laughs> that was a good picture, by the way. I'm sorry to go past <laughs> it so quickly. Excellent. Five stars. That's really nice, too. I'm giving that one a pick. I like that one a lot. We saw them. The They're good. ladies again. Whoa. Wow. This wow. Just for the makeup. Five Fantastic. That scares Maybe me. Maybe more interesting lighting, though. That reminds, oh, that Something weird like about the lighting would be good. Clown dolls? Like, that'd be good for... That scares the shit out of me. For, like, our, our cool LED lighting, oh our ring God. light setup. I the find that kind of so scary. <laughs> oh, that girl again. She's cute. Um... Again, kind of watch the crop on the free feet. It's a little bit unbalanced, but everybody looks good there. Um, watch the background here. Either blur the background more or just select a background that doesn't have like the houses in it. That's it. Okay. We must go. Squarespace for sponsoring this. Once again, Squarespace. It's the easiest way to create a beautiful website, blog, or portfolio for you and your ideas. And if you want to try it out, you can do it. 14 days for free. No credit card needed. If you want 10% off, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio 
It even includes a free store, guys. Come on. Next week, we're looking at high contrast pictures, which is open to like almost anything. I don't know. I just made it up. Let's go. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Siobhan. Thanks, Justin. Okay. We, we literally. That is all. Dang, that was bad. Go, Thank you, guys. Go, go, go. Okay, bye.